yogis, welcome to Lauren Yoga. I'm Lauren. I put together this flow which is perfect before bedtime or just any time you want to wind down. So grab your mats. We'll also need a pillow today and let's get started. All right, friends, welcome to Cozy Yoga. I hope you feel so cozy. Let's get started. If you're on your bed, if you're on your mat, either works. We're going to start in a nice seated pose crisscross. Wherever you are, just begin to place your palms on your knees and lengthen the spine. From here, drop the eyelids closed. We'll do a few breaths together. So deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Ha. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Then exhale. <sighs> Open eyes. Then from here, drop one ear to one shoulder. You can hang here or take your opposite arm, sorry, take your right hand and gently pull the ear down towards the shoulder. Come back through center, then drop your left ear over to your left shoulder. And again, option to pull the head down towards the shoulder for a little extra stretch. And really just tune into your breath through this flow. See if you can let go of anything that happened before class or anything that may come after. One more breath. So then let go of the head, come back up to center. From here, we're going to inhale, sweep those arms up. And exhale, turn towards your right side, left hand on the front right knee, just a gentle twist. No need to crank the, the spine or neck here. On your next inhale, just lengthen the spine, pulling up out of the sacrum. And exhale, twist just a little bit further. Beautiful, come back to center. Inhale, sweep the arms up again, shoulders down. Then exhale, twist towards your left, right hand, left knee. Observe any areas you might have tightness in the body. See if your hip flexors want to grip here, or if you feel some tightness in your shoulders. And wherever you observe this on your next inhale, send that inhale to that area of the body. Your next inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, twist just a bit more. Beautiful. Unwind, come back to center. This time, plant your right hand on the mat. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and overhead. Take a side stretch. Here, keep the chest open and spine nice and long. So notice if you want to kind of curve in to get that hand overhead, I'd rather have you keep it open, left hip on the bed or mat, and extend that left arm up and overhead. And 
come back to center, left side. So left palm on the mat, inhale, sweep the right arm up and overhead, extend it nice and long. You may notice one side is tighter than the other, like this side for me. For some reason, I think it's how I sleep actually. This side is always a little bit tighter. So pull that right shoulder back and open. Keep that right booty cheek on the bed or mat. And send that right arm up towards the ceiling and maybe overhead. Inhale, sit back up, come to center. Now grab your pillow, wherever it is. We're gonna do a forward fold in this seated position. So the pillow's there just to give you a little extra um, length and kind of um, space between yourself and the bed or mat. So set your pillow out in front of you, then lengthen the spine up and out of that sacrum like we've been doing, and then fold over. We're gonna be here for a little bit. And we wanna do this to give our hips space and time to just continue settling into the pose. So I want you to imagine yourself as like a stick of butter or something <laughs> that just continues to melt, melt, melt down as the time passes. So close your eyes and let yourself fall forward down towards the earth. while you're here melting, again, just check in to see for any areas of tension or tightness. Are your shoulders creeping up towards your ear, even in this forward fold? If they are, send them away from the ears and down the back. Are you gripping in your hips or hip flexors? See if you can soften. And keep that breath alive, deep in inhales and exhales, connecting it in and out. See how long and deep you can make your breaths. Last breath, take a deep inhale. And exhale, come back up to your seated position. Beautiful. So remove the pillow for a second. And we're gonna extend our legs nice and long in front of us. So we're going to a forward fold. Option if you wanna use the pillow to place it underneath your thighs. And we're doing that because I really want you to focus, here I'll shift this way, on bringing your chest to your thighs, maintaining that nice long spine, instead of curling over to bring your forehead to your feet and towards your legs. So that pillow is there as a prop to help you find that length and focus on bringing your chest towards your thighs. So wherever you are, kind of pull your booty cheeks <laughs> away from each other so you have a nice grounded position. Then on an inhale, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, hinge at the waist, bring your chest towards your thighs. And then again, we'll picture that butter I honestly didn't think I was going to use that visual. I didn't plan for that. 
But think of that butter constantly melting down and let gravity take over as you slowly melt into the pose. And your hands here can be on the better mat or on your feet. We'll be here for a few breaths. Let's do two more deep breath cycles in this pose. And then wherever you are, begin to walk your hands back up the legs and towards your waist, sit all the way back up to seated. Gently remove your pillow and then plant your hands behind you. Feet are also planted on the mat and then just windshield wiper your knees right and left. Perfect. That is the end of class, yogi. Come to seated position. Grab your pillow, we'll kind of hug it for a namaste. Bring your hands to prayer. Thanks so much for flowing. Namaste. Hey yogis, I hope you enjoyed that flow and feel all ready for bedtime. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel or leave me a comment below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you.